Good evening. I'd like to call the Thursday, August 25th, 2022, Douglas Planning Board meeting to order. Uh, first item, citizens form. Anyone in the audience here for anything other than what's on the agenda? Seeing as none, uh, no a and R's, no public hearings. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything to take first or just go right in, right in order? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, first item, uh, bond estimate, Peter Michael Business Park, possible votes. Thomas. Uh, with us, uh, yep. Mr. Thomas McIntyre is here in case you have some questions. Mr. Chairman? But what we have is a bond estimate that was reviewed by our peer review, peer review consultant for remaining work of uh, Peter Michael Business Park. This is was 100 Davis Street, uh, Legacy Circle. This is the industrial business park we approved right about the time that I started working here in October. Um, the team mobilized very quickly uh, this summer and was able to get the base force down and, and get to the point where they could uh, just spec out the remaining work for top forests and, and, and sidewalks and berms and bottom and stuff. So they gave us an original estimate, came in at about 109000 and our peer review consultant identified a couple of items that we wanted to add, and one of them being a reduction of an as build plan, and the other one was installation of bombs. Uh -huh. Caught those. Um, so that estimate was adjusted and it should be in your package. 130,000, 125. That's the number. Okay. So we're looking this evening for two one, things. 125 one, or 130? Is to uh, approve an amount for the bond uh, and agree to the performance guarantee. And also, there's a request here because of the placement of the bond. And if you recall, when this uh, came about for the McIntyre loan pit, uh, was to release lot six upon establishing this bond so they can get business transferred from the CRG site over to lot six. So there's two motions here. You can take them at the same time if you want, but you can vote to uh, agree the amount of the performance guarantee and release lot six. Anything to add, Tom? Good uh, with that? No, okay. Dad covered everything. I would say but much more eloquent. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the chair, if I may, you don't have a problem with the bond? No. Nope. Okay. Okay. I think we should take, my opinion and is, to take them both at the same time. We can. Yeah. You want to make the motion? I'd like to make a motion to uh, approve the bond at 130000 Mr. Bonoy. 125. 125. And release the lot. So, um, that's my motion. What lot number is it? It's lot six, lot six, six. at Le Legacy Circle. At Legacy Circle. I'll second that. A motion made by Mr. Silkert, seconded by Mr. Zwicker. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Do we have to do roll call? Uh, no one's online, so, so it should be good. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think you have, it's, it's a seven member board, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. five. We need five, yeah. Four, four, you need five? If the chairman wants to vote, then... Aye. Mm -hmm. I have it. <laughs> Both uh, motions passed together. Thank, thank, thank you, Tom. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Tom. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it moving along pretty good? You guys stay out of trouble. Moving along pretty good. Very good. That's good. So Take a ride down there. It's, it's moving. Since uh, Mr. McIntyre is here, Mr. Chairman, would the board be interested in signing this now so he can take it with him? Sure. Right. Yeah. yeah. I assume that's fine with you? That's fine All with right. me. Yep. Putting the amount on here just off the road. What do you have for a ride back home? Probably half hour or something? Yeah. Take the scenic route or something. Oh, yeah. It's nice. It's yeah. nice. Where, where do you live? Nice to try. Hopkinton. Yeah. Yeah. Sister town. Exactly. Yeah. Family's hometown, right? Yeah. That's right. The first page is for the bond, the second page is for the lot. Uh, 
Next item, plan endorsement, Sutton Douglas development, possible votes. Hey kids, I'm stay out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Chairman, uh, we have, well, you know what? We have uh, Mr. Wayne Bellett from Ken, from Land Design Collaborative and Tim Flynn, the developer project here. Uh, the good news is that this has been signed and endorsed by the town of Sutton, which is one of our prerequisites to make sure Excellent. that Sutton signed off on the plans. Uh, the mylars and the back half of the copies are over there on the table for us to sign. Going to take a while. So I don't know for the gentleman here. I hope to take it with him today. It, you know, that would be ideal. But I mean, there are a lot of signatures on those. And I think we can. I know I can't sign. You cannot. That's correct. And then Meg, neither. Correct. So the other members that are here. Okay. We get four signatures. We we still have to track down the sharpie to sign. It. Okay. Yeah, I just it's one way or the other. We either do it at the end or we do it now. I just just don't give it. Well, no, they can't take it. They can't it anyway. Yeah, we'll do We're it. We're happy to pick it up. Mind me of that. Yeah, we'd be happy to pick it up. So we'll have signatures. So she can get in. We don't know once you get it. Saturday probably. So we'll get in touch with her Monday to get her and put the fifth signature down. Good. Yeah. Yep. But, uh, assuming the board will let's do it. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. Mr. Chairman, that's all, all we're looking for this evening. You guys are very familiar with the project, obviously. Uh, yeah. The covenant, the, the prerequisites for us was to make sure the covenant was recorded and printed on the plan. The conditions from the planning board are also on the plan, as we asked. And then we have to get Sutton signatures in advance. Those three things have been met. Good. So, you need an endorsement? Yes, I'll make a motion to endorse the plan for the Sutton Douglas development. Second. Motion made by Mr. Zwicker, second by Mr. Socrat. Any further discussion? Is that a hand raise? No. Aye. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 I'll abstain on that one for me. Thank you, folks. We, we appreciate it. Just making sure we had enough eyes. Okay. Just want to dot the eyes. Because yeah. this is the day. Rich wasn't four, here for Yeah, he wasn't here, so four, for any of Nice. Four. That's it. And I have to abstain. So, Mr. Chairman, before we go, I just uh, I wanted to express our sincere appreciation. Um, coming into this project, we knew the past history. We were made aware of it early on. And as we said, uh, we, we worked toward trying to, to the best to, to our abilities address those concerns of those of others. Um, it's unfortunate what happened to them way back when. We Again, we tried to to fix that to some degree. Uh, we know that from this town's perspective, from this board's perspective, that was a hot potato coming in. Mm -hmm. um, and we do appreciate the board's uh, uh, patience throughout the whole process, hearing the, the deliberations that had, had gone on. Uh, and again, a uh, most heartfelt thank you for, for approving the project. Um, we're not going to let you down. Uh, in fact, we're meeting with Mr. Benoit, I think it's next week, for the pre-construction kickoff um, on this. So, awesome. again, much appreciated. Keep, and keep appreciated. the neighbors. And I love the Beatles fan. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. Of course, yeah. uh, it, it certainly helped you guys brought in, you know, a very well done up plan. You were open with us, both towns, neighbors. It made, it made the process easier for me. Thank you. You, know, you, guys, you guys yeah. did as well. well. Our objective, as we said from day one, um, Tim is going to be in town again. I'm going to be in town. We do it right. We're going to continue to do it right. Good. We have a great community, talking with Mr. Manerick and the, the grants and everything that are starting to come into play. It's about time. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's great to hear. Yeah, and I think there are a lot of opportunities for this community. So we're going to work toward that with you folks. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Well, it worked out well both ways. I, 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 I agree, Mr. Yeah. Meeting alarm is yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Thank Thanks, guys. We'll see you around. Thank you. Good luck with, you. Good luck with everything. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Take care, you guys. Take care. Good to see you. You too. Two seconds. Mr. Chairman, I have to notarize this. I have to get my gear. Okay. Take care of this. Um, if the board would like to do minutes or. Uh, yeah, we can do yeah, we'll yep. While I'm doing that. I'll All right. All the way back to you. Make sure the board's all up. I don't have it in front of me, and I did not have time this week whatsoever. Well, Mike. Are we you looking down? Originally? Are we hopping down the? Okay, yeah, we're gonna look at minutes now while uh, yeah. Ms. Benoni steps out for a sec. Um, got two here. So I reviewed the meeting minutes for June 23rd. Um, there are a couple of typos 
in here? Let's hit it. <laughs> On page two, item number three. Down about ten lines, there's a um, sentence that starts off recorded. They will, blah, blah, blah. With counsel, not, should be with counsel, not wit, W-I-T. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And uh, where else is another one? Down toward the bottom of the page, 7.50 p.m. Um, one to the second sentence. It ends, ends in the word small. It says finish of small. It, just should, it should be off. Yeah, finished off small something area. It just could be finish a small area too. If you wanted to finish a small area, get rid of the OF. Get rid of the. Uh, yeah, it's been, yeah, finish a small area. area. Nice. Good catch. Anyway, that's it for the. Um, for me, anyway, for the 23rd. So, if nobody objects, I'll make a motion to approve the meeting minutes as, writ, uh, as amended for June 23rd, 2022. Second. Motion made by Mr. Greco, second by Mr. Marks. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So, June 23rd. I'll abstain. All right. Um, I'll abstain. Second set of meeting minutes, uh, June 30th. Uh, I reviewed that. I didn't see anything wrong with it. So I'll let somebody knows better speak up. But if not, make a motion to approve the meeting minutes as written for June 30th, 2022. Second. Motion be by Mr. Greco, second by Mr. Marks. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 So June 30th. Finish. So, um, yeah, maybe some more signature stuff in that. Sorry. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of signature stuff. Forest, run. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Minutes are all set. All right. Yeah, I'll give you this one. This one here, there were two things that they found. Okay. I just made a quick little highlight. Excellent. Thank you. Right. Next item on the agenda MS4 compliance correspondence. Okay. Mr. Benoit. Yes, sir. So, what we have here are some recommendations from our uh, MS4 uh, stormwater compliance consultant from CEI, Mr. Nick, Nick Christopher. Um, what this is, is uh, they go through our subdivision regulations, try to identify parts of our regulations that would benefit from low and, uh, yeah, the green infrastructure and uh, low impact development initiatives and standards where we can tune up our bylaw to promote things like rain gardens and, and, and more preservation of, of, of land like that. So there's a lot of recommendations in there. I don't anticipate they're going to be going over this this evening. Uh, I just want to get you guys the materials because on another note, we had I, we had earmarked a couple other things we wanted to change in our subdivision regulations at previous hearings. One of them was having a standard road width mm -hmm. for one thing, but that actually mm -hmm. kind of crosses paths with this a little bit because they're looking for less pavement and things like that. So I want to make sure we're on the we we cover all that at the same time. So. This is more like homework, reading material for next meeting so we can um, identify when we want to make changes to our subdivision regulations because this, this is a standard that we have to follow. It's a state mandate. We also have to have a stormwater bylaw, whether that's a general bylaw or a zoning bylaw. That's something else we're also working on. So uh, we have to hit certain deadlines as we go, and this is this is one of those things. So that's the, I guess, the dumbed-down way of saying it, I guess. 
<laughs> this has been brought up more than once. Yeah. yeah. And, and the thing is this, with every discussion we've ever had, and what the town has, and everything that's laid out, it's been determined that we're sitting pretty good the way we are, mm -hmm. and that we're working a mess with anything. Uh, that's been more than once over the years I've been on this board, Ernie, you know too. Every time it's come forward, and they look at the way we have it, they say that we are sitting quite well on the way the things are written up. So uh, I don't know what they're trying to do here, keep bringing this up or bringing this up, thinking that it's going to change or what? I, I don't know. Um, but I know more than once. They, they set, in my opinion, unrealistic goals for each town to, to obtain right away. It's going to be an ongoing issue for a long, long time because we're slowly complying without going bankrupt if we, to, to, do, <laughs> to do these things. So it, it, it'll be ongoing. If stormwater management in this type of thing oh, is always yeah. going to be ongoing. Um, correct. We are in a good position right now. I mean, we're, we're, we're trying to comply as best we yeah. can and, and we stay in constant we'll contact good. with them. And this is going to be just a general thing that we're going to have to do for years to come. Yeah. So. I think we're doing okay with it too, Mike. Yeah. We're, and we're and keeping I, our notes, please. And I think once something got brought up at town meeting, wasn't that that long ago, a couple of years ago, and it got nailed, killed badly at the <laughs> town meeting. So uh, the, the town's people themselves are not ready for any drastic changes whatsoever. Um, so, and that's all got to go in front of them. It's a community that finalizes the deal. So, the, I mean, that meeting there, they, they sounded the horn quite well on what they wanted to do and not wanted to do. I remember that vote. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I don't disagree with either comment. I, I think these are incredibly challenging uh, expectations for yeah. a lot of communities to achieve. Uh, uh, in a perfect world, if you could uh, mold a, a, a perfect crystal, uh, it, it doesn't happen every time. And, yeah. and every town's different, and every mm -hmm. town meeting is different, and how you vote on it. In Auburn, at one point, we, as part of RMS4, one of the things that you can implement is try to implement a stormwater tax where you tax folks for having a driveway and a roof and having impervious service. And you can imagine how that went. <laughs> so uh, I fully agree. It's very challenging. So I want to see what out of here can we take? Because we don't have to take all of it. If yeah. there's something right. in there that makes sense that isn't a huge impact and we can get it through. It, and that's why I want us all to at least have a chance to look at it. I don't want to throw something up at town meeting. Yeah. Or, or just, well, this is our regulation, so we should we should go through this at our own pace. We it doesn't have to be turned around tomorrow. So no, it, it, it can't turn around tomorrow. We, right. We're, we're, we're doing that. That's what we've been right. doing. We've been we've been satisfying their requests. So like, slowly and, moving forward. Like, like I'm, I'm reading, I mean, I'm just looking at one thing here about cul de sacs and stuff. I hate to say it in. Normally, the people writing these up sit in a glass building in downtown Boston someplace that take a commuter rail to work. They don't live out here in the country where it snows and everything else in the real world. So they try to put unexpected restrictions on people out in areas where it just doesn't work because they live in fantasy land. Uh, and that's the problem with some of this. There's no reality in some of the things that they're looking for. I just consider it homework for now. It's just correspondence as an FYI for us. Yeah. Yep. It's something I will be looking at in further detail. Is there any uh, deadline or date or anything that we need to be no, have anything done one by? Thing, or one thing we may consider, uh, and I don't know if it'll start here, but it's probably going to start with the select board, is the, the thing that went to town meeting in the past uh, through the chair, Mr. Swicker, was an was actual general bylaw. Yeah. And I heard it's going to go well, also. <laughs> so um, it's uh, it's got to take another shot at some point. And I guess I learned that Bill kind of uh, really made a lot of changes to it up through February before uh, of 2021. And then our consultant actually came here and met with the board in March of 2021. But the bylaws, that's where it stayed. It hasn't been touched since. So I just got my eyes on it for the first time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go through some things. It's not a matter of changing at all. Maybe there's some things we can take instead of, but 
it's a, it's a full section there. of general bylaw that would be administered by the planning board for general bylaws. So it's not a zoning bylaw. But a lot of homework needs to be done. Uh, the thought that I had with Nick today, the consultant, excuse me, Mr. Shockery, was to try to get it on for the fall, but I think it might be too aggressive. Yep. So That's fine. just wanted to gauge your opinion on that and maybe put some more work into it. I think we have other things that didn't make the last town meeting, other things to hammer out, stuff like that, okay. more of a priority. Very well. Uh, any, other, any other little stuff going on? Okay. Fine. This is a winter project where if it's quiet, go after one or two things, hammer it all out. You know, get slowly. <laughs> okay. All right. Next item, 2022 fall meeting warrant. <coughs> Articles for consideration. Mr. Chairman, through in your packets, you'll see the two copies of our the two bylaws that, it, that didn't make it through town meeting last time. It's the solar and the height. Mm -hmm. now, the, the, the copies you have in front of you are the amendments that the board wanted to make in their final form. So it's just the one line of height minus the diagrams minus the elevation piece that you guys wanted struck at the time. So it's just one line for height of intersection 10 definitions. And then the solar piece has the three changes that you asked for the frontage. <coughs> it was uh, uh, the, the, the dimensional requirements and the strike of the uh, limits to clearing. So those three things are in there. Um, I guess what we're looking for to try to stay ahead of it is to set it to the selectmen at a future meeting uh, to get the ball rolling on that. It's gonna come back to us from public hearing. I like this. I like the amendment within five feet of the structure. So it's people aren't building it. 45, 12, and 12 pitch burn on the house. That's kind of that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah. And that's average is average. You know, we, we don't have to say every <coughs> eight feet or every five feet or something. Average is average. So that's cool. On the average grade, average finished grade or average construction grade? Finish, it's always finished. It's finished grade. Yeah. It can't be construction grade, but that's why they're adding in the five feet. So that you do have construction and finished grade could be different things. Well, I mean, it's going to get brought up. You know, somebody, if they have a finished grade, they can go five feet plus or minus our finished grade or construction grade. Well, when are they gonna? It, it generally, and I, I can probably speak to it, Ed, but I'm just saying that the five foot, it protects the falsity of the height issue. You know, I mean, if they, if they you know what I mean? It's a, and if they burn it up and the, and the grade is naturally around here and they're stealing another five feet, by just berming, that's not what we're looking for, apparently. We, then it's really 40 feet from the construction grade, not 35 from the finish. It's but, the finish, it's the... But uh, if it isn't, why don't you just say it from finish grade? Don't, don't leave that vague area. Oh. So it, it doesn't say it. Yeah. Do, do you agree or disagree? I, I don't disagree. I think... I, I mean, if you're gonna have one or the other, say it. Yeah. Try, so find out how about can. on the average finish grade elevation? Just put finish in there. See it. I, I buy that, Mike. You know, that way there, it's... We still have time to tune it up. You remove that gray... Oh, let's tune it up now. Yeah, I yeah. Get that. You remove that gray area. And to see what our building inspector... I like it. Okay. Uh, how he feels on that, and okay. or if that's okay with him. Uh, then when somebody reads it, they know what they're dealing with. You do your foundation, you do your waterproofing, you know your finished grade is going to be whatever over your waterproof and or by your waterproof yeah, yeah. you know that's what the measurement is going to be okay no <laughs> all right um as for the solar piece i think you guys know what i'm going to ask um the the item that has no limit to clearing clear cutting yeah i strongly urge the board to consider it i don't care what it is just a number i know i had it as five acres it was a lot it was pretty restricted so that was good um you missed a lot why well, I if I like I'm just going to throw this out there, all right? I own the land. If I own 100 acres, mm -hmm. I've been paying taxes on that land. It's my land. I understand. Yeah, there's so, I, I mean, it's one of those deals where this is where big government trying to come in and tell you who owns it, who's been paying on it, what you can do with that. I, I mean, that's the purpose why people buy and have the land. If, you don't want that done, then somebody else could step up and buy it, so you can't do nothing. I mean, that's the way I feel. Good, Chair. I just, 
I look at a couple of the variables, and I understand it from an economical perspective of landowner. I, I get that. I just I'm looking at a couple of the things: habitat displacement. I mean, put 20 trees down next to my house, and then all the bugs hugged my house because they didn't have anywhere to go, and then I got pest problems just like that. So and I'm not. It's one example. It's nothing. But, but obviously, habitat has to go somewhere, right? So I don't care what the limit is. This is maybe you have a limit that you can clear for a year. Maybe you have to phase it. Just want to. Have some thoughts in that regard instead of having it. What uh, just what subsection is it, or in this? I just, I just printed like only. And do we mean? Do we need to say anything? Point two. I'm just curious. The, <clears throat> if I can to the chair, the, the biggest thing with that is nobody's going to come in and do a solar project. Period. Nobody's going to come in here and do four acres this year. Then we're going to attach five acres next year, and then we're going to do eight acres the next year. That's not the way it works. Construction comes in, they do the layout, they do the prints, they do the whole plan, and they build it. I mean, that's the, the way it's done. But, it's, but it's, it's, it goes through the It goes unsaid that anything to do with conservation, uh, that, of course, it supersedes anything. We, we, don't right. have to, we don't have to say it in this. No, it's, it's anything in conservation jurisdiction there. I mean, for somebody to get 10, 15, 20 acres of on a bridled something in this yeah. town is uh, tough, anyway. I, I wish we could get feedback from the town at like our hearing before it goes to town meeting because that's kind of a crucial thing where you'd want town's input, but they don't come to this meeting to discuss that and it shows up at town meeting and changes can't be made. It's only our public hearing. Yeah, yeah we, we have to have a public hearing anyway. All right. Do you want me to, are you going to date all these? Do you want me to date them as I'm signing them? I'll date them. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you can date them. Okay. It's, how would you say it? I, I mean, a lot of these people, if they don't do it with the way taxation and things are, they might lose all that money. And not, the other thing is this, okay? You don't want to cut the trees to put in a solar farm, all right? I want to put in 70, I want to build 70 houses and put in roads and everything else. Well, what do you, you can't stop that, right? You can't stop a development. So, so right now what you're trying to say is, you're okay to build the 70 houses, but I can't put in a solar farm. Well, don't they? And, and that's not, no, it is. It's otherwise. cut and black. That's what is being said here. Somewhat. And that ain't right. <clears throat> Somewhat. So, and through the chair, with a subdivision, we can control whether or not they're going to have a open space buffer from neighbors, and if they're going to transfer part of the land as as, as part of the agreement through subdivision control. But through through a special permit for solar, you don't have that. We don't have that right now. So that's kind of what I'm asking. Is there? We set buffers. We've set uh, the frontage requirements and all that. And I think those are strong. I like the way we did that. Uh, so I'm just well through the chair too. Yeah. Mike, um, if we put in. A minute, five acres or something. Then, with approval from the board, they can still come, and, and we can. I mean, make it as a minimum for us to have a look see, so they don't strip 30 acres completely on a piece of land. But that's. Oh, that's just answer the question. But but that's what the whole aspect and concept of this was. Is if then just don't have it. Then just stop it because it's they won't happen. It's a deal where why can't they come families. Across? A lot of them, if they can't afford the taxes either, they're going to sell the land to put in houses to a developer. They're going to develop it. Or they hang on to the land, put in a solar farm, and it's still their land, and they get it back in 20 years. Assuming it's three phase, too, in that area. I mean, well, it doesn't matter. They'll bring it in, like they are now. Yeah. I mean, just start, they're doing it everywhere. So it, it's, you're trying to tie the hand of one, but not the other. If that's the case, okay, development goes in, you got 50 acres, yeah, you can only put in But the other has to come houses. to us. Huh? The other has to come to us. They still come to us. So why can't the solar have a, like a threshold where oh, it just, then we get a look-see at this thing? Yeah, we're going to see it regardless. It, it's just, I'm curious about okay. the habitat displacement, well, clear-cutting. Mike's got a point. Yeah, but, I mean, it, it, it's, 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 I but the thing uh, is, is a big it's, concern. it's your land. Go ahead. All right, yeah. because, no, I mean, that, that, that's, a, that's a big concern, clear cutting. And yeah. I mean, you, you're taking down a tree that absorbs all the bad gases to put a panel in. You, you're, not, you're, you're not accomplishing anything, in my opinion, sometimes. You're doing more harm yeah. than good. 
five acre minimums too small. I, I just and we don't have to sell this today. I was just I don't want to open up that discussion again because having no cap, like I got a fifteen hundred acre site and I'm going to clear cut the whole thing in a, in a summer. It's, and, and I don't think the townspeople would really like that. No one's gonna but yeah. there again, and I'm going to say this: <clears throat> you can go to a forester mm -hmm. and get a permit and go in and, cook and cut it. But there's it's a plan. Clear you can't clear cut. Huh? You can't, can't clear cut on a forester plan. You can't clear cut, but once you log it out, now you're not clear cutting anymore. I'm going to go in next year and cut the rest of it out. So you just clear cut it, but it took two years. So I, I mean, it's. It makes people think, though, two years versus one. I mean, do it all at once. I mean, we're setting setting a precedence or saying I, I don't know. we don't care. You know, like go ahead. Versus. I, I think the thing to do first with the chair, let's get a list of everyone project in our town, and let's. Acreages. Take a look at it. Of all the solar projects. Like the land? No. The ones that have been approved are already established. So we know, okay, we know, <clears throat> we've already okayed, say, a 20 acre or a 15 acre or a 40 acre. We've, like, there's a lot of solar projects we've already approved and are built. But I don't know what the land is of each one. Each off the top of my head. Each is less than 100 acres. For sure. So that's what I'm getting at. So if we're averaging right now 80 to 100 acres on a solar project, then maybe do we go with that? Not no 10, 20, 30 acres, maybe 100 acres. Right. But even if it's that big a threshold, I just want to start. Well, also not every project, even if it's 80 to 100 acres, is clear cutting 80 to 100 acres. We, I wonder if we know the, the average which gets developed within that parcel. Is it 50%, 70%, 80%? I mean, there's case. Huh? case by case terrain. Right. Yeah. Right. But, but is there some average that we can use? Like Mike's saying, find out some information. Yeah. I mean, we know how many acres are covered with panels on, on every project. Yeah. Uh, we, we can, I can get some information. If the, yeah, if you could, sure. just a list of all the sure. projects that have been completed. What is it, like 12, 10? What do we have, 14? Yeah. It's not like One, two, hundreds. three, four, five. I think it's five. There's a couple of the older ones. Like, you got the you got, you got right. you up there. You got one across from the town highway, the yeah. old gravel pit there. Percy Gius. Yeah. Gius. Yeah, that's Gius. Uh, you got Wallam Lake, you got one going in on Oak Street, you got Gius, you got Cosmos Farm. West Street. Near your house. They just did West Street. And near your house. Yeah. You got one on West Street. I think Street. there's five or six. Well, it's not that many. No, but we'll get an average of acreage. Right. I'll check that. And a percentage of coverage. Sure. So then you could say, if it ends up being that they're covering or stripping 73.2%, we could use some number that sort of is the average of those. I'll take a look. I'll get you know, there you go, Mike. And, and or, let's say, per 50 acres, you need to have so much of a buffer. Well, that's so, already. I, uh, through the chair, Mike. Uh, Mike I'm, I'm on. I'm always been an advocate of it's my land. I like to do what right. I want with it. But I shouldn't be allowed to go put a pig farm in in, in a neighborhood that <laughs> hey, people are saying, I, or put a nuclear mm -hmm. reactor in my backyard. I mean, there, there are certain things you have to consider when you say it's my land. I can do what I want with it. There's an old saying, Ernie, to the chair. Sorry. <laughs> now the right of my fist ends where the right of your chin begins. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> and if I can to the chair, and I agree. But the idea is, is we all know what's coming down the pipe. They they're releasing more money for grants and everything on these solar farms and stuff, and they want them in everybody's backyard. They want them on everybody's roof. I I, I can see maybe a hundred acres or something, but not no small twenty thirty acre deal. If somebody owns four hundred acres or three hundred acres. And they want to put a hundred acre solar farm in. So how many parcels are over a hundred acres in this town? Like yeah, I make a bet there's a lot. <clears throat> a dozen, maybe? Plus common ownership. Mm. So. Yeah, you can always merge in yeah. and create that. Right. Anything else for the No, that's good. Um, good. Okay. good for me to check into all no. the information. Thank you. Sure, Is there anything new really for them like Mr. Chairman, the, the warrant closes on September twelfth. We okay. do have another meeting before then to choose what we want to send over for warrant articles. I think these two are definitely two to consider for fall town meeting. Um, Do we straighten out the bounds stuff? Is that a, just a reoccurring thing now, or? Yes. 
Uh, good question. <clears throat> and we have Stonegate coming in for a road acceptance. I'm doing a sidewalk with the engineer. The remaining work that they were supposed to do, we said he did it. Put that up on Monday. And then they got to get us some some paperwork to say uh, to transfer uh, publicly to something. So that one will be on. <clears throat> and then I might have an earth removal, but that might be a general bylaw. So that'll go through the selectmen. Uh, we'll see. Just got feedback from council on that, so I'm still digesting it. So we we have we have two articles that are going on the warrant. Yeah, solar and height. Yeah, have we in have we scheduled any public hearings? No, oh, that still has to go to select board, then they kick it back to us. Then okay, we so we have yeah, so we yeah, last year was kind of like here. a test yeah. run to <laughs> for the process to make sure we do it right. Yeah, yeah, we can send. Well, let's get this information first. Uh -huh. I'll ask Ken, excuse me, Please. Uh, the building commissioner about adding that extra language to the height piece. Then on September 8th, we'll be ready to push those to the select. Okay. All right. So that's it for the town meeting. Yes, sir. All right. Ongoing development. Any of these have some ongoing development updates? Let's see. Uh, it's your crossing. Actually, it's He's lower in the agenda on signatures. But so. there's more okay. comments. I'll wait for that. Um, but no, nothing um, currently on <coughs> any of those. Um, as for Wallum Solar, uh, just we're waiting for a check so we can get Jeff Walsh out there to do a final inspection on that. And then I'll have to report for you guys. Okay. So, but that's a check coming can. from Canada. It's just taking too long. If I can through the chair, what's yeah. going on with 93 Davis, please? Sure. I actually. Uh, the owner about a stopped by my office today. I'm glad you asked. Um, she has hired an engineer to set up her. Uh, okay, so the original filing was done with GBI. Okay, she's not using GBI anymore. She's going to be using a different engineer. Uh, drive through. Okay, who it is? To set up a special permit application for drive through. All right, so um, she has. She stopped by to tell just to let me know that she hired somebody and that she's going to pursue that process. So like, hey, if I can through the chair, I'd like mm -hmm. to know how long it's been that <laughs> I've let this go. We're coming up on a year. Yeah, it's been about that More. before I started, so. Yeah. If we can get an, ex an exact date, I really want to know. Never in all the years I've been on this board have I seen something drag out like this, ever. You talked for the top code. Yep. Completing what was agreed upon. And if we can, I'd like to know through our, uh, uh, through the inspector, what a game game plan would be. Uh, I've been hearing about this drive-through now for the last two months. Yeah, didn't we ask the last meeting that to the chair um, for an update from his opinion about what's going on? Did you yeah. get anything? I met with her. That's the no, no, with, with, no, with, with the, the, the inspector. Because he's the enforcing authority. To see what he can enforce on whether or not the site plan is not yep. complete, and can he shut it down? As we went through, uh, kind of, not, not yes. necessarily that, but what any safety issues? What can be done here? Well, as we heard through town council, oh, well, we don't because he's the enforcer. Yeah, we don't have a bond, so there's nothing we can go back on and say, hey, we're going to seize your bond for incomplete work. So that's usually our leverage. Yeah, that's but we don't have bonds to yeah. work with, so we're. Kind of hands tied a little bit. I think what the board could could recommend, or at least request, is that this new filing be submitted by a certain time or date. And Tom. I'm going to throw through the chair a recommendation out there. Any new filing coming in, or if anything goes on, there's going to be a bond, and there's going to be enough to cover that driveway. There you go. And then some to make sure. I'm not going to, no sense of playing this game anymore. So, so she I, came in just said she's hired someone and going to start the process. That's it. Uh, I'm just curious how long it, that, you know, that, that process of her starting the process to getting the process submitted, <laughs> you know. It's, it's taking longer than So do we want to maybe like mm -hmm. ask for a dead, you know, it, we'd like a plan or a request for a hearing at some point by a certain date, so we, mm -hmm. it's not, 
you know, all right, next meeting, yeah, she's hired someone. Yeah. Next yeah. meeting, the person's working on it. Yeah. Like, keep it as a so, request for so okay, it might be right through the chair. So the point is that this filing, if delayed, 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 mm -hmm. only delays the fun, the talk code, and mm -hmm. and and it only exacerbates our dissatisfaction with the performance of that in compliance with the approval. Mm -hmm. I'd say the last meeting on September. Ask for an application by then. And then if not, we'll pursue you know any possible you know whatever in inspection result that Mr. Uh, uh, Build Inspector has. I don't know. I, I think we lost a lot of our authority by not having a law. Mm -hmm. Chair, I don't know if we can demand that she has an application. I mean, yeah. I would like to. Something in writing, but what her plans are. That, that, that satisfies me, so I know what, what she's doing. I can't say the chair, we've already done that. We've already had that. We've already done it. What, 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 what you, we got to have it three times, four times, five times? How, how many times do you want to have it? I think we're just kind of through the chair. I think we're in a sticky spot not having it. He just runs that's down. Usually the our, that's our strength. Yeah. And we don't have that to fly. So. Uh, would it, can I ask through the chair, would it we've normally had, was there anything to do with how or who was presenting and that we didn't have a bond? Is it because we were familiar with the, the presenter and, and how did that happen? You know, so. Do I have a number of ways? Usually, we always have mandatory bonds for subdivisions for one. Now this is a yeah. site plan approval, might even been a special permit. Is that not normal to have a bond? It's, I, I can't really say. I've only been here since October. So as far as normal goes, um, and the past times I've worked for, it's not always required to have a bond for something like site plan. Uh, it's usually when you, when you see something that's a little different, you're like, oh, you're going to install uh, uh, something large that we weren't expecting? Okay, that's a little unique. We, right. we should put a bond on it. Okay. You going to do a parking garage? All right, let's put a bond on that. Yeah, but should... uh, this was a small retail facility with a parking lot. You probably at the time didn't think of it. Uh, it's it's possible, but what are we going to say already? Yeah, it, it, it's a, it's a, just a two-acre parcel. Like it, it's that, so that's I mean, we don't usually okay. ask for a bond on a small parcel like that. If I can through the chair, is there something that we should after this sour taste? Should we maybe in the future require a bond to prevent this kind of stuff from happening again? Because as we know. This is just getting dragged on and on and on. Through the chair, is is there no, if what Mike is saying from now on, should we just have, I mean, bonds are normally um, commensurate with the size of the project, so what is the, what's the hardship for us to place a bond on a project regardless, on every? You can, you can place it on any I think project. maybe it should become our standard. Maybe. Well, I know for this one too, it, the, it, it was a matter of the build, the occupancy permit, where we kind of like, yeah, we'll give you the okay for now to get the occupancy permit, and then once you have the occupancy permit, who, what do you, what does it matter? So like that was also a leverage that we lost at the beginning. Mm -hmm. I remember those votes. I'll do a little more homework. Any other recourse, which is fairly minor. Yeah. But knowing that she's willing, trying to come in to alter a facility uh, in the future, uh, to just this point, at that time, if the board's willing to, wants to consider such conditions as they can. I don't want to discuss them now because there's no application in front of us. Correct. But uh, yeah, it's certainly food for thought. Anything else with those developments? Uh, no, sir. Okay. <coughs> Staff updates. Staff updates. Okay. Next thing is signatures. So. I know they are going up. Making way. There's a lot of them. <laughs> yes, there are. <laughs> Couple. So we did the law release already. Um, there is the deer crossing. Bonds, the bond amount that we set at the last meeting was $2,000. We just have to sign the paperwork. So that's that's what's in the measure. Um, we've, we've not started that or we did it? No. That's part of the. Okay. 
Well, we already. Uh, sorry, it's just in our signature folder. It'll, yeah, that's it'll more. Pass around. Oh, um, yeah, there's more. <clears throat> I apologize, Mr. Chairman. Uh, one of the vouchers in the Chapter 53 e transfers to general fund that's back at additional business. Kind of one of the same. If you want me to kind of talk about that for a second? Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, I, so I completely skipped that. Chapter 53 e was an account. Uh, it's a it's a method for where our application fees used to go when we had a town engineer. Town engineer would use those funds in the application, kind of offset costs for review, et cetera. And then once the project was finished, they'd roll those funds over to the general fund. The problem is we've been without a town engineer for a long time now, and <clears throat> there's still a lot of funds sitting in 53E that need to get rolled over to the general fund. So um, our principal clerk, Chen Kuchir, and um, Maria also uh, went through all of these for us and with the, with our finance director and produced a lot for you guys to sign in that folder to transfer a lot of these funds out of 53 and into the general fund as they were supposed to have been done a couple of years ago. So this consolidates a lot of unnecessary line items. Some of them are small amounts, you'll, you'll see it. It's just. <laughs> It's a housekeeping item, Not this something that does require a vote of the board to transfer the Chapter 53 items into the general fund. So do we need an actual vote on that, or the vote is the signatures? require a motion and a vote. Okay. Um, so I would entertain a, <coughs> a motion to uh, transfer from 53E to general fund the submitted uh, correspondence vouchers. So moved. Uh, well, any, any further discussion? <laughs> um, our pay review funds come out of this too. Right? They do not. Not through the That's a 53G account. Okay. So very good. All right. Slightly different. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. I just it sounds to very similar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Is it a second, Mr. Marks? I'll second that. All right. <laughs> Motion made by Mrs. Wicker, second by Mr. Marks. Sorry. Any further further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. All set. Thank you. Matthew. Sorry, do you need me to sign those or is that? Yeah, I'll sign them. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Number eight. Oak Street Scenic Road permit is in there um, for a signature. Okay. All right. There are two signature pages in there for the other two decisions that are not complete yet. It's up to the board if you want to provide me with a signature page that I will hold on to until the decisions are done. The issue we've run into is town council notification. So the decision for Pine that I finished, they just need them to review. The decision for Sleepy Hall is a little more comprehensive that we are going to work on together. No vacations haven't finished that one. So I was curious if the board would be interested in signing the signature pages. The members that can. I, yeah, I can't. We obviously can't for the for the Oak Street one, no, of course. But um, for the other two, the Pine Pit and the Sleepy Hollow one, if you want to sign signature pages. They're already there over there. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't so, want to come back in later. <laughs> I will if I have to, but <clears throat> I'm sure I forgot okay. one. But. So that, that was, unless there was an objection to it, that was, I still have to work the decision out. Not only with council, but with the applicant, and I'll let the board circulate it to the board so you guys can see it before we. Well, it's not complete to complete till you get this sharp. That's right. You'll have some time. Yeah. Yeah. Just circulate the uh, the finished product. All these. All these started here. If we passed on a bunch, they're two different folders. It's two different folders. So. Oh, this set is already over here. That's done. So I'm waiting for that set. Anything else? All right. Uh, uh, next meeting is September 8th, 7 p.m. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Let me, can I throw, throw the chair one thing out there? Fine. Roadways. Where there might be more developments coming in. Can we get that hammered out here real soon? Before any other. Developments come in. Sure. Well, I don't plan on doing it with the stormwater stuff. 
kind of do it all at the same time. We can always, where it doesn't have to go to town meeting. That's correct. I think it's one of those deals, let's get something done that we need to get done. Right. Let's worry about the other stuff as it goes on. Uh, the road width is an issue deal for every development that comes in. And let's make it where it's cut and dry. This is what it is. Go from there. Do the chair reason I want to do them all together because we do, but we still have to advertise it. Fine. We do have to collect all the feedback for it, but it is something to report us. So there's a cost to advertising, obviously. For road widths, too? To change our subdivision regulation. Okay. No, um, from we just I, through the chair, yes, I we thought are. it was mentioned where we don't have to do that. We just don't have to go to town meeting. We just we can do it. Right. Okay. Well, the thing is, is the stormwater stuff has been pushed on for a long time here and there. Road widths. Yeah. Let's get it done. I have a few other things too that I'd like to add. So I'll just okay. have it at the same time. I've been marking it up since I've been here. Okay. So if we could, even if it's for two or three little things, sure. that way it's good housekeeping. Let's get it done, be over with it, okay. move forward. Instead of keeping, you know, keep kicking the can. And whatever else you can come up with for uh, so we can handle. Oh, yeah, quick we... little cleanup. Thank you. Anything else, Board? All right. Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion made by Mr. Preston, second by Mr. Greco. Any further uh, items, discussion? Well, seeing is none. All those in favor. Aye. 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 We are adjourned. So over there.